up? So California Range Weekend, the first class I went to was with Fabio of My Own Defender. And I've been training with him now for about five months. Uh, he offers an extremely valuable service where he takes new shooters or shooters like me that are very experienced. And, you know, I'm usually always in the top, you know, 80 to 90 percent, if not the top shooter at any course I go to. Right. So Fabio offers a service where he will train you for six months on firearms and some tactics and even medical stuff and really how to become your own defender. I think this is really important uh, because people get guns and they're like, oh, I need a gun, I need to protect myself. Byron, what kind of gun should I get? And I'm like, look, man, like the hardware is there, the technology is there, guns work, they go bang. You need to date guns, you know, it's like picking, you know, so you gotta date them and court them and figure out what you like for your ergonomics. But if you don't know how to shoot, you don't know how to move and all that stuff, you're not even gonna know what a good gun feels like in your hand. So um, really, as we say in the league, my executive protection school, look, man, rookies spend money on hardware, professionals spend money on software. So make sure you're getting the training you need to support the hardware that you're getting. Notice that my gun is gonna be Sorry. a little bit front good? side proud. I'm going to exaggerate for a minute how, like really hot. See how it's really high under my vision? Index to middle finger. It's gonna drop from 12 o'clock. What Fabio is offering is by far the best thing I've seen in this space to bring you up to speed when it comes to effectively implementing your firearm in your own self-defense. Because what do you do when you want to learn a new skill? You go to a course once upon a time? I mean, no, you hire a trainer, you hire a specialist to spend time with you to help you actually learn a new skill, right? Not just, oh, I went to this really cool course, you know? So uh, I wanna give him a huge shout out and I wanna encourage you guys to find him, my own defender, Fabio, my own defender, and like get yourself some ongoing sustained training. You meet once a month and you get all the dry fire drills that actually make you good. The dry firing is actually what really makes you good. You go confirm your work at the range, okay? The dry firing is actually the daily habits you have are actually how you get better. But anyways, so, you know, go do that. Check out Fabio, get on my own defender. I'm an experienced shooter, I'm learning. I'm literally restructuring and relearning how to shoot with him. Boom, so there's that. Um, but when we went and did, so of course, you know, coming through his uh, course and being one of those cohorts, I was like, yo, I gotta do this red dot class that he's offering at California Range Weekend, son. So I hop in there and, you know, I shoot a red dot and, uh, you know, there, when you're, when you're looking at getting into dots, there's a really just reality that you have to deal with that you must train yourself. Like it's not as intuitive as you would think. There's a training gap. So you'll, first time you put your red dot up, you're gonna be looking for the dot. You're gonna be fishing for the dot. Then there's a different way you shoot. There's a different way you utilize your eyes. But once you learn how to use that red dot, I know Kung Fu. It's like literally like you're like Neo in the Matrix when you know Kung Fu. It's like you have a superpower, man. It's like all of a sudden you're just like, oh my gosh, this is like cheating. Like shooting's way easier now. I'm way more accurate out to distance. Da 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 da. And your game just goes boom. And then when you go back to iron sights, and this is totally a rabbit hole. When you go back to iron sights, you're actually faster on your iron sights because you use your eyes differently. But anyways, so you know, I was like, I gotta learn this because you know. Freaking Fabio can shoot, he can burn the house down, man. So um, that course was amazing. It was an awesome clinic to really help me write the correct software into my brain as to how to really most effectively implement my dot. And you guys, like you can say whatever you want about iron sights and they're awesome and they're dependable, but red dots are the future. I'm just, I'm just telling you, man. Red dots are the future, they're becoming more and more reliable. But if you shoot a dot enough, you really realize like, look dude, like my dot can go down, I'm still gonna be pretty accurate out to 15 yards. I've had it happen in multiple competitions and I still get all the six inch plates and ran through the stage just fine. And then you have backup sites that are irons, you know, for your comfort and stuff like that. Um, and you can you can even co-witness off the aperture of your actual dot. But anyways, that's a whole bunch more like, you know, magic beans. 
What I want you guys to know is that if you haven't gone and trained with Fabio on how to implement that red dot and you're in the Southern California area or he's coming to your area, um, it was a clinic. It took my firearm skills to the next level. We shot his standards, which I didn't make, which I, are, are an aspiration of mine. Um, which is always good. Like, I love it when a guy's like, here's my standards, and it's like, oh, I can't meet him. It's like, wow, man, then you should be my instructor. And we do have things to work on, right? So um, you're in the right place, you're in the right room, right? Uh, if you're the best in the room, you're in the wrong room. So uh, we started off the day just going over fundamentals, how to build everything all the way up to how to implement the red dot, uh, how you use your eyes, how to place the dot on your target rather than look through your aperture at the dot, all these little things that are kind of counterintuitive that you wouldn't think to do if you're coming from a conventional firearms um, ideology, right? Because you're used to focusing on your front sight and all these different things that are counterintuitive but make you a much better red dot shooter. Those were the things that he really educated us on, you know, everything having to do with that. Uh, and then we ran some competitions and things like that and I got second place, I'm so mad about that. Um, I'm gonna show back up and we're gonna do it again, my man. Um, so, uh, but congratulations, good job, you defeated me. So, yeah man, it was just an amazing time and a, a very, very intelligent and effective use of your ammunition uh, to run that course. And anytime I've ever shot with him, it's been a very effective use of my ammunition because obviously those things are busy. These, uh, freedom seeds and BBs are way more expensive these days. So I can't say enough about what Fabio is doing with my own defender and how important it is. Uh, he's an amazing human. He's actually a good friend now. Um, you know, he's the type of guy that's like a, a very intelligent, uh, has high standards for himself, has high standards for those who um, come to train with him. And that is my stinking language. So we actually, you know, are, are really good friends now uh, because we have the same type of value schema. And um, I, I just really can't say enough about what he's offering the industry in my own defender. And at this red dot course, and, and I'm gonna take his, um, his concealed carry course as well and tighten up my draw stroke also uh, because I know it is all next level stuff. So you guys have got to go and check him out. Um, and the other thing I'd say about him is, you know, he's not a uh, uh, tactical background guy. He's a civilian that has chosen a path to be a protector, which I think is so important for you guys to see the value of because so many of you extremely valuable protectors are coming from that space. And some of the most dangerous people I know are civilians that because they don't rest on their laurels. They're not like, oh, I was a Navy SEAL or I was a cop and I know how to do this because I'm like, because I'm dangerous because I have this rank. No, they're like, I mean, I just got into jujitsu because I needed to learn to defend myself and I got into competitive shooting and I go to courses and they are some of the most dangerous people I know because then now they're a black belt, you know, in jujitsu at a legit school and they're master class shooters because they just put in the work because they don't, they can't sit back like I can and be like, well, I've already been to war and da 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 da. So if you're a civilian, like if you're freaking working, if you're a barista at Starbucks and you want to become like Jason Bourne, you want to be a dangerous man, just make the decision and start working on yourself, you know? Um, and, and that's what I love about these civilians that just become these amazing protectors. It's a decision. And as I say on my podcast, Executive Protection Lifestyle, it's more than just a job. Protection is more than just a job. It is a lifestyle. So live the lifestyle, get the habits, get on the next level. You know, no bravado, no ego with Fabio, but he goes and spends a lot of money, a lot of time. He's an amazing student, a lot of money and a lot of time on getting the best information, implementing the best information, testing the best information out there on the training circuit, and then teaching you guys, teaching us the best information, realistic information out there. So uh, can't say enough about him. My own defender. Link is underneath this video, you guys. Go check that stuff out. Much respect and thank you, Fabio, for everything you do. Uh, protect you by nature and by trade. I'll see you guys on the next piece of content or out there training. Out.